So are you telling me that I could actually have a say in, in a telescope design coming up in the future? I think you should. I got to design my own telescope. I'm talking Astro Backyard Signature Series. I designed the style, the name, the packaging, the design, and of course, the specs. And those of you that have been watching this channel for a long time will not be surprised at all as to what I made. I said that it had to be compact so that you can use it on a star tracker. I said that it had to be a triplet APO or I'm not touching it. And it has to be wide, like really wide, so you can capture NGC 7000 or the California Nebula in a single shot. I wanted the optics to be fast, at least F5 or below. And it has to be flat too, and I don't want to have to go around searching for the right flattener to match to it. It has to be built in. You need to be able to attach a DSLR or a mirrorless camera easily without any backspacing surprises. There needs to be somewhere where you can thread a filter inside, because I always get that part wrong. And it needs to be easy to mount too, and easy to mount a guide scope. And it needs to be all black, but not shiny black, like a matte black with red accents, like a, one of those Canon L-series lenses. And guess what? We did it. This is the Radian Raptor 61 APO. This is the first Radian telescope, and if you haven't heard of this brand before, you will after the Raptor. So what makes this compact triplet APO different than all the other options that are out there? I think most of you will appreciate that it comes with everything you need. The bag, the dovetail mount, the rings, the filter slot, the built-in flattener rotator, the integrated dew shield, and of course a few more surprises and options that I don't have on this prototype edition. So I think you've got a good idea of what's included with the Raptor 61, but can it take good pictures? I mean, isn't that what it's all about? I've been using the Raptor 61 in my backyard for the past three weeks. I knew it would be flat, wide, and fast, but I did not expect this. I hope you guys can appreciate the amount of time and effort we put into the design of this telescope. I've taken all my images thus far with my Canon EOS RA full frame mirrorless camera. So a very large sensor and a great test of that full field of view at 275 millimeters and the flatness of the entire field. I know that a lot of you will be connecting your DSLR camera or mirrorless, but also a lot of you shooting with dedicated astronomy cameras, and I'm really excited to see what you come up with in that configuration. So here's exactly how I have the Raptor 61 set up on my Skywatcher Star Adventure in the backyard. It's no problem for a little star tracker like this, so the Ioptron Skyguider Pro, any of those mounts. You might have noticed that I've got that heavy-duty Lozmendi style dovetail mount on the telescope. I really like that. It's a bit overkill for this setup, but I just love that plate. So it comes with a smaller V-style dovetail mount as well. And you might wanna just use that. And depending on the mount you're using, that might be the one that you need to use, but it comes with both, so that's great. So the filter that's inside here right now, I've got the Radian Triad Ultra, but you could use any two inch filter that you have, 48 millimeters. There's a threaded slot that you can actually thread your filter in and it's inside, no messing around trying to find a good spot for it. In this same component here, there's some screws that you can adjust the tension of and that's the rotator. So I've got it kind of in that great spot where I can adjust it, but it's still very tight. So as you can see, I'm turning the camera 
nothing else is moving so I can align and frame up my target just the way I want to with the camera sensor, but nothing else is moving and that's essential. Something I was adamant about in the design was the focuser. It had to be super high quality. So it's got the focuser knob on the one side and then the fine focuser on the other, the 10 to one. And it's super smooth, but it's also very secure. And you can of course lock it into place with the screw on the top here. I've got the camera attached at the back, of course, with a T-ring. The back spacing was not an issue. Where you see it right here was just about totally in focus. So barely out at all, no crazy extension tubes or anything like that. So it keeps it all compact and very manageable. As far as finding focus on this little telescope at 275 millimeter, I use the 30 times live view magnification on my camera on a bright star, use that fine focuser, go in and out until I get it super sharp, lock it into place, slew over to my target. So it's just a real foolproof, reliable system. And I'm just so impressed with the images I've taken with this. As I said, of course, this is a full frame sensor on the Canon EOS RA. Very rare in the dedicated astronomy world. And a lot of you are shooting with APS-C DSLRs. If you are shooting with those smaller sensors, it will be completely flat to the very edges of the field. On my full frame sensor at the very edges, you can just see some elongated stars just coming out some comb at the very edges very demanding on the optical system to have that full frame sensor you could just crop it in maybe five ten percent and you have a totally flat image but i thought it was important that i point that out i hope you guys are as excited about the raptor 61 as i am it's coming out very soon the pre-order starts tomorrow so I'm just so excited to see the images that you guys take with this telescope. If you do hashtag Astro Backyard or just Raptor 61, I will we'll see it and I'll be so proud. I'm so honored to be a part of this project. And I feel like in a small way, I'm helping the astrophotography community. Because as I said, I think this is a very pivotal telescope. It sits in that spot between the people that are nightscapers into deep sky astrophotographers. So I expect to see a lot more Andromeda galaxies and Orion nebulas being shared around online. And I'll feel partly responsible for that because of this Raptor 61. So thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for letting me live my dream and to work on projects like this. I'm so proud of it. Shared optical platform? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, it's a doublet. Okay, I got it. Hey, and version two, I need gold-plated Rudy paw print on the side. Yeah, gold-plated. And it needs to be a quintuplet design. Quintu yeah, for the same price. <laughs>